In the recent few months, I have read many articles in which researchers are trying that maybe we can detect dark matter through Higgs boson. In the month of April this year, with the collaboration of Atlas and CERN, they released the dataset of Run 2 of the Large Hadron Collider from 2015 to 18, and the results of which have shed some light on this new concept. We can say that these results have imposed some kind of restrictions on this theory. So today in this video, we will try to know what they found in their result that has put a limit on this theory. And also we will know that how a new research paper is claiming that they have found a dark boson, which could be a part of dark matter. So before starting the video, there is a little request to like, share and subscribe my channel. Have you ever thought how can physicists study dark matter beyond gravitational effects if it is practically invisible? Three different approaches are pursued. First, indirect detection with astronomical observatories. Searching for the decay products of dark matter annihilations in galactic centers. Second, direct detection with highly sensitive low background experiments looking for dark matter scattering of nuclei. And third, by creating dark matter in the controlled laboratory environments of the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. Although successful at describing elementary particles and their interactions at low energies, the standard model of particle physics does not include a viable dark matter particle. The only possible candidates, neutrinos, do not have the right properties to explain the observed dark matter. To remedy this problem, a simple theoretical extension of the standard model poses that existing particles such as the Higgs boson act as a portal between known particles and the dark matter particles. Since dark matter has mass and considering the Higgs boson's relation to mass, Physicists have suggested that dark matter particles could interact with the Higgs boson. A Higgs boson could transform or decay into dark matter particles shortly after being produced in the LHC's collisions. So here I ask a question. Could some of the Higgs boson decay into dark matter? As dark matter does not interact directly with the Atlas detector, physicists look for a sign of invisible particles, inferred through momentum conservation of proton-proton collision products. According to the standard model, the fraction of Higgs boson decaying to an invisible final state accounts for just 0.1% and is thus negligible. Should such event be observed, it would be a direct indication of a new physics and potential evidence of Higgs boson decaying into dark matter particles. Now I will tell you what they did in this experiment. They conducted a collision of two proton beams in the Large Hadron Collider after which they discovered on the basis of conservation of momentum that they should find an invisible particle in the perpendicular plane of those beams. Although we cannot detect them, but due to the momentum imbalance of those particles, we get to see invisible jets. But it is very common to see these types of jets in LHCs. For this reason, they improved the model a bit and said that the one of the jets emanating from these invisible particles should be highly energetic. Still accurately predicting the different background contributions was a key challenge. As several abundant standard model processes could exactly mimic the signal topology, such as the production of a jet plus a Z boson, which then decays to two neutrinos that also leave at last without being directly detected. So to overcome this problem, physicists used combination of data-driven techniques and high-precision theoretical calculations to estimate the standard model background. The data show no access of such characteristic jets over the expected background. Atlas concluded at a 95% confidence level that no more than 13% of Higgs boson produced in the Large Hadron Collider could transform into invisible particles. Also, Atlas physicists were able to exclude dark matter particles of masses up to about 500 giga electron volt and having energy up to 2 tetra electron volt. This finding places the strongest limit so far on Higgs boson transformation to such invisible particles. The new result advanced the search of weakly interacting massive particles. Now excitement is brewing among dark matter researchers over the sign that they may have detected the first signals of this elusive substance. In June, the Xenon collaborating reported seeing flashes of light that matches those expected from a type of dark matter called dark bosons. If you want to understand how these Xenon experiments are performed, I have already made a video on this. You can watch it from the link flashing on your screen. This dark boson would be virtually exchanged between an atom's electrons and neutrons 
and induce tiny forces between them, thereby changing the atom's transition frequency. So detecting this change was the aim of those researchers. In their experiments, researchers measured the so-called isotope shift, means the change in atomic spectra exhibited by isotopes of the same element. The standard model predicts that to first order, the isotope shifts should lie on a straight line, a common method of representing the phenomena. The measurements of the first researchers group fit with this prediction. However, the reports of second group departure from predictions. The researchers say that the deviation is consistent with a leading correction to the standard model's prediction, but it could also indicate the existence of dark bosons. So that's all for this video. Please like this video and subscribe my channel. At last, thank you for watching.